Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome. Today we are going to be having a look at my entire lip collection, lipsticks, lip glosses, tinted lip balms, all of the above. So I asked you guys whether you wanted me to show like all of my Charlotte Tilbury lip swatches or all of my Pat McGrath lip swatches or another brand that you wanted me to show you all of the shades I have on my lips, whether that would be helpful or if you just wanted to check out my full collection and you guys voted for seeing the full collection. Now this isn't the full collection, this Hi, I'm here. This is, let's say two thirds of my lipsticks. There's about a hundred lipsticks in this stand and I wanted to show you it kind of in situ where it lives on my vanity because I wanted to share not just the lipsticks I have but how I store them and all of that stuff because I think that's probably the most helpful thing if like me you have a lot of lipsticks so I have over 150 I have like I said 100 here and I also have a drawer which is just underneath where this sits this drawer right right here is where I keep the rest which is mainly products that won't fit or don't work in this holder I keep in a drawer so I'll show you those as well they're about another 50 in a drawer so I've got about just over 150 lip products all together so I thought I'd take you through my storage both this organizer as well as my drawer the storage and how I organize everything so as you can see I kind of have everything in here in its family this product that is holding this lipstick holder that has everything in it is actually a a nail varnish display rather than the lipstick that I use it for. So the thing I found about lipstick holders is that they just didn't come big enough, like they didn't have enough slots. And also the slots, I ordered a couple and the slots just don't fit. Things like this Lisa Eldridge gloss just didn't fit in any of the lipstick holders that have actual slots. Anything that's kind of big or wonky just doesn't fit in there. So that was my first issue. The largest one I could find, I think was about 80 slots, I think. Um, they also tend to be flat. The larger ones tend to be flat, which when you want them out on your counter like I do, you then can't see anything. You know, you can't see what you've got. You can't remember the shades or the brands that you've got. So I wanted something that was going to display them all in a neat and tidy way, that was going to fit every type of shape of bullet that I had, large or small, and one that was gonna hold at least about 100 so that I could just see them. That's the thing, I have so many that if they're all in a drawer, then I just forget they're there. I can't see what I've got. If, if it's all flat on one level instead of stepped like this, then I'm just not gonna be able to see any of them really, but I'm certainly not gonna be able to see the ones at the back. Remember what is where. This way, everything is out. I can see everything. So every day I do my makeup and I come to my lipstick and I can just instantly see everything I've got, remember all the lipsticks I've got. And I know I said to you guys that one of my makeup resolutions this year was to use more of my lipsticks. So this is really helping me do that. And what I actually do is I'll pull out four or five lipsticks and I just put them, line them up here in this space. So those are the ones I'm gonna use for the week and I do that each week so that to make sure that I'm going to use them all and use the majority of them. So I will link this holder. The thing to note is that obviously they are just standing up. So if you have skinny ones or these magnetized, so these ones here are magnetized, they do tend to sort of fight. You can see these are like kind of wonky the way they're sitting in there. That's because they've got a magnet in and they're sort of having a row with each other. So that's the thing to note, it's not perfect. You know, it does, you know, the ones that are skinnier like these sometimes fall, might fall over or the magnetized ones might have an argument, but it will, they will fit any size or shape. You can see this is one of my Fenty lip creams and this is probably like the largest, one of the largest base of a product. It easily fits in there. Absolutely no bother whatsoever that I've yet to find anything that won't fit in there. There's plenty of space because it is designed for nail polishes, which can be much bigger than lipstick. So yeah, nothing won't fit in there that I have yet to find anyway. Okay, so I've just pulled the stand down to the front of my vanity because I just think it's going to be easier to see everything that way. So then you might wonder how I know where anything is, particularly things like Lisa Ed Eldridge. I've got a lot and I don't want to have to go through looking at the bottom. Now I used to keep some of them upside down so I could just read the shade names, but generally lipsticks, you know, they're flat on the bottom and then the top might have a curve, like these Pat McGrath are curved on the top, so they don't sit nicely 
if you put them upside down. So what I've started to do is I basically put the most worn, most loved, this side, this side. So they go from like my favorite to my least favorite or my least worn. So this one, as you can imagine, is Velvet Affair from Lisa Eldridge. That is like the nude that I have from her. So it's kind of the one that I go to the most. This is then Go Lightly because it's my favorite. So those are kind of the two that I love the most and use the most or wear the most and then it goes down the line so that I know that this is vel oh, the last one I missed this is velvet decade because that's the one that I wear the least then you have the reds and then these are the ones that are the kind of more frequently worn I do have my Charlotte Tilbury upside down so I can actually see the shade names of these because these do sit nicely um, and I like them displayed that way so I can actually see all the names in this row but that's generally how I organize things so you know obviously I can tell what these are because they have the different packaging but the black ones will go in my favorite order so this is the She's Heaven and then Lust Angeles is my next favorite one and they go to the ones that I wear the least if I can't see what they are just by looking at them like I can see what the YSL shades are by looking at them these ones that's how I kind of work out where things are so let's start off with the MAC so I've got some limited edition ones here now I'm not going to swatch every lipstick in here because that would just be an absolute madness but I will show you some of the more sort of interesting ones these were two from the um, Blossom the cherry blossom collection that they had I think a couple of years ago the packaging of these is just gorgeous so yeah I tend to keep the kind of limited edition ones together this one is gorgeous my son has been after this lipstick he just likes he's like a magpie he just loves shiny things but yeah these were all the limited edition packaging and I like to keep them together as much as I don't necessarily love really any of these shades they I do just love the packaging so I like to keep them you know I like pretty things I will say as well you can probably see at the at the front to fit more in I kind of stagger them so I'll put one forward and one back one forward and one back and that helps me get more in this one I really like this is from Max uh, bronze collection I think it was called and it's a lovely like sheer orangey coral shade very shiny this is good, definitely going to be one that I wear in summer so I keep my most worn MAC shades here in this row so let's see what I've got that I'm wearing from MAC still so I have twig whirl and velvet teddy I guess these are like your most classic mattes aren't they twig whirl and velvet teddy which is probably my favorite actually I have one more that I prefer this is down to an art which is probably my favorite MAC like nude matte it's just perfect every day it kind of is quite similar to nude romance from charlotte tilbury but that one is a glossier finish and this is a matte so it's one of my favorite max of all time coral bliss an absolute classic just a lovely sheer peachy coral shade oh then mullet over which is just one of their powder kiss which i quite like and that's mangrove which i had to get from the us because we don't have it over here stunning summer shade i mean look at that one that's got to be yeah morange i love these mac brights for summer they're just gorgeous oh and then chili which i is a pretty recent purchase of mine but i felt instantly in love with it so there you have like my favorite mac shades absolutely love these I don't really use the others that are in the back row there they're just kind of like oldies but goodies that I can't bring myself to get rid of but these are the ones I still kind of love from MAC and that's why they live on that front row because they're the ones I'm still reaching for after all this time there's definitely some mistakes in this back row I mean runway here sweet and sour yeah I still quite like those shy girl that was an absolute love of my life around the time i started my channel and then we've got some definite mistakes towards the back of here like myth i mean that is just literally an absolute foundation lips classic i mean can you even imagine what that looks like on me so that is all of my mac lipsticks this next row i do like this lipstick from huda beauty this is um spring break it's a very very bright like summer perfect shade definitely one that I still enjoy in summer and then this MAC one was the Tiana Taylor this is actually a very nice nude um limited edition and I imagine it's long gone now but yeah that's a gorgeous like everyday nude and again one that I still use my soul 
Patrick Tarr bullet. Again, a lovely hot orange shade. What is this shade? This is She's Not From Here. Really, I love that formula as well. As you guys know, these are my absolute favourites. These new Huda Cream Gloss Lipsticks, I absolutely love them. I picked up a new shade recently as Raja, and I think this is my favourite of the bunch. I did do a lip swatch video of these, so if you want to see these on, but it doesn't have Raja because I actually picked this up after I learned how much I love this formula. But yeah, all I have four of these shades. I love them all. I've got Gold Digger, Money Maker, and Boss Chick. These are in the like shade order. So I have Raja because it's the lightest at the front and Boss Chick at the back because it's the deepest. And that's how I know where they are. I have two of these Buxom Full Force. I was obsessed with these for a while. This is the shade Boss. And yeah, they are really nice and plumping. They've just got a lovely glossy finish and they have that sort of plumpy sensation, that sort of tingling sensation. But yeah, I really like these. I wish Buxom was a bit more readily available in the UK, but these are nice lipsticks. So now we're getting down to like my absolute favorite rose. So I have these three Estee Lauder. These are like some of my favorite formula, this Estee Lauder, discreet is as the name might suggest, your perfect kind of everyday wearable nude shade. Peerless, I think, is my absolute favorite from Estee Lauder. It's just the perfect, glossy, rich, deeper nude. And then I have a bright, which I think this is the one that got me hooked on this formula, you know. This is Carnal, oh my days, this is gorgeous glossy orange red just i love the formula of these next i have my two christian audettes these are the ones that were a collaboration with my friend mal thompson so i have beauty and puffin puffin is just i mean if you want a summer shade tell me about it tell me about that shade Oh my days, like the perfect orange. And Beauty is a gorgeous, perfect nude. I then have these Natasha Denona's, which as you can see, I think I bought a couple and then just instantly fell in love and had to buy more. So I have these in like order of my favorites. So Sammy, this is my favorite. I'm actually not that you can see me, but I am wearing this today, I promise you. But there's Sammy. It's just the most beautiful nude for like every day, but it's just got a bit more punch to it. It's a bit richer. So yeah, we have Sammy, Liron, Noah and Yana, just gorgeous. I mean, any of these every day of the week. I do need a liner with Liron. It's more of an evening with a liner kind of look for me. But yeah, I, the formula just so gorgeous and shiny, perfect. Another one of my favorite formulas is Laura Mercier Rouge Essentials. This is Caramel New, I'm running out of space here, but. Yeah, again, a lovely shiny finish, perfect for every day. These cause me all kinds of problems because the stupid magnets on the inside. But yeah, my favorite one, I think, is L'Orange. It's just a very wearable, bright for summer. I think it's just perfect. If you're a bit afraid of color, I just think it really, because of the, the shiny finish, it's very flattering and it just makes it a, a more wearable, bright for me. Love those, wish they would hang out a bit more nicely in my display. I mean, look, I feel like I've got a very tropical disease at this point. So now we're really getting down to my absolute favorites. These glow mats from YSL, the hair, are just stunning. I love the formula of these. They smell amazing. I'm always telling you guys how much I love the smell. So this is the shade 213. They don't put the names on them for some reason. It's very annoying. And 210. So 213 and 210. I probably should have dried my hand before I tried to put these on. But these are just very easy to wear, very comfortable on the lips. You can kind of see the type of formulas I love. I like a bit of punch when it comes to pigment, but with a nice glossy finish. These ones are, do tend to topple over in here because they are skinny little babies, but I like my YSL shades to live together, you know? Moving on to my Pat McGrath lipsticks, I have two of her, what are these called? They're like her Blitz Trance lipsticks. This packaging, again, is just 
to die for. So I have Emmanuel and Blood Rush, and these were things that I really expected to skip on, but they, because I just sort of think metallic lipstick, like I don't want to look like a robot, so that's Emmanuel, but actually they just end up looking super shiny and glossy. They are gorgeous, and this is Blood Rush. I actually saw Blood Rush on Jamie Gen Genevieve and instantly knew I needed it. I think they're just so pretty and it just translates as shine rather than shimmer or glitter on the lips, which is how I learned to love them, I guess. This is one of her latest and more lipsticks from her yeah, Divine Rose collection. Just, I mean, her matte formula is insane just so creamy and rich i'm not going to swatch all of these but if you want a lip swatch video on any of these brands where i have a lot of them please let me know we can do that i know that's helpful at the moment when you can't swatch my favorite nudes however absolutely love this one this is she's heaven i wish you would restock these because her last trance formula i actually love more than her mattes and they've just been out of stock forever it's she's heaven and Lust Angeli is like two of my absolute favorite lipsticks of all time. I wish you would restock this formula, but I don't know what's going on with them. I also have Fever Dream is another one that's actually quite wearable, but it looks quite bright, but it is super wearable. That's actually a matte. Um, but I, yeah, that's my most recent, I think, from her lip shades. And then I have Divine Rose. And what have we got here? Ah, so Elson. I had to buy Elson. Elson is Pat McGrath's like classic red. Like she comes out with all different Elson 2, Elson 3 sets. So that's kind of her classic red from Pat McGrath. So I'm not a huge red lover, but I had to have Pat's, didn't I? So now moving down to the Lisa Eldridge and Charlotte Tilbury town. Now, as I said, my favorite, most worn shade, Velvet Affair, that's her nude shade. Obviously, I think all of these will be out of stock right now, but we do know that she's coming out with her new collection very soon. So hopefully we'll be able to get some of these again. Although I don't think her mattes are coming back just yet. I think it's her luxuriously lucent shade. So go lightly. Lisa's like most loved shade. Again, bear in mind I've just wiped my arm off. So I don't think some of these are not going to swatch very well because it's a bit damp from the makeup wipe. But these are my absolute two favourites from Lisa her absolute gorgeous both of her formulas this is velvet muse which i actually love to wear with gloss on top it's just a gorgeous sort of mauvey nude absolutely stunning and then i have velvet blush which is like a richer version of muse again gorgeous topped with the gloss absolutely stunning and then of course her reds velvet ribbon is my most recent purchase that's what i would say is like the classic red velvet ribbon and we have velvet myth sorry i cut off so i didn't show you that one and then we've got velvet jazz which is one of her original reds and much more rich, deeper, darker red. And then finally, Velvet Decade, which is a very sexy, rich, like chocolatey brown. I sometimes wear this really lightly and people are like, how can that be Velvet Decade? But you can really just pat this on lightly and it takes on a whole other, like, look to it. Much more soft and just pretty and lighter and then here are her glosses so i picked up this is the blush set so i picked up the blush gloss with the liner and the lipstick and that combined is just stunning but that gloss goes beautifully over any of these to be honest and then i picked up the ribbon kit most recently and that lip gloss over the top of velvet ribbon and then with the liner that is just the sexiest thing ever just stunning perfect for summer glowy glossy red lips love it so that is my whole lisa collection so we've got velvet affair go lightly muse blush velvet ribbon velvet myth Velvet Jazz and Velvet Decade. And then the two glosses, blush and ribbon. Just, you cannot go wrong with Lisa Eldridge. Again, if you'd wanted a lip swatch video of my whole Lisa collection, let me know, that's possible for me to do. This is Bitch Perfect, which is one of my absolute favorite classic Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I've then got Sunset Lover, which I think was this the limited edition one, maybe Sunset Lover, someone let me know. 
absolute, these peachy tones from Charlotte Tilbury just can't go wrong. Lost Cherry, that's kind of close to Sunset Love, a bit darker if you're looking for something close to that. And then I've got Sexy Sienna and Pillow Talk, the classic, that's at the end, because you know, I just don't, I'm not really a Pillow Talk girl, so Bitch Perfect, Sunset Lover, the limited edition one, you can't get any more, and Lost Cherry, was it? Yeah. And then these are my absolute pride and joy, Charlotte Tilbury. You know, nude romance. I have not stopped raving about this. I know, I'm sorry, but I'm obsessed with it. It's my absolute favourite everyday go-to shade, go-to nude. I love everything about it. The undertone, the shade, the finish, stunning. I also picked up Wedding Bells for my recent review of her new love collection these packaging i just live breathe die for it it's just stunning then you have the three shades that she did in the red packaging again these are just all absolute winners i just feel like charlotte tilbury is like my brand because i love everything she comes out with so that's rose wish lucky cherry this for me is going to be like one of the go-to shades for me this summer i feel like absolutely love that one and sweet blossom i need to go back to sweet blossom because i love this one it's gorgeous it's a bit richer the nude romance but it's got that same stunning finish and in summer again that's going to be a go-to nude for me absolutely gorgeous and then of course you've got all of her hot lips 2 collection one of my absolute favorites is karina's star when this came out this was like it for me absolutely gorgeous kind of peachy nude shade a lot of these are too light for me, unfortunately, without a liner. Glowing Gen, that's definitely a favourite from that collection, Glowing Gen. That's right up my street, quite close to Sweet Blossom, but a bit pinkier in tone. And then I think In Love with Olivia is one of the others that's kind of wearable from that collection for me. Yeah, that's one of the darker nudes. The rest are very, very light too light for me but I do have a lip swatch video with that whole collection so if you want to see all those on my lips you can that already exists on my channel okay so that is everything in this storage unit and now we're going to delve into my lip drawer Okay, so here is my other place where I store my lipsticks and this insert I will show you, I will link to this down below, this is from Ikea. If I can still find it then I will link to this down below. But in this drawer you can see it goes all the way back. So in here I have lip balms, lip glosses and my luxury lipstick collection at the back. These are my very sadly discontinued favourites for a very long time from MAC. They're Lip Tensity lipsticks. I absolutely love these. This formula was discontinued, as you can see. I've got loads in there that I don't barely use. One of them is almost completely gone. I think it's Doe that was my favourite. This one from MAC was an absolute favourite. This was like my third one. It's almost completely gone yeah and I also have in here my liquid lipsticks from MAC the retro liquid lip colors as well as the powder kisses all sit in there just because they just sit nicely together in that compartment and then in here I have all of my balms by the way these are a new formula from L'Occitane I like a satin matte these are perfect for under masks they're like a very comfortable matte liquid lipstick in perfect summer shades so yeah i'm just still like getting to know these but these are lovely that is the shade 03 but yeah i keep in here all my kind of glosses balms random shades like these are the tinted lip balms from nars and just those types of products so then in here i keep all of my fenty cream glow and gloss balms all together these are some of my absolute favorites at the moment i especially love this honey waffles shade of the cream gloss balm it's just stunning but i oh, i love all of them to be honest these are kind of all my glosses in here that i use a lot 
these types of products, my Natasha Denona glosses as well as the one hourglass one that I own and this lip cream from Patrick Tarr as well that I actually really like. I've then got my Fenty like tinted lip balm products. These again are just absolute favourites. I have three shades, the orange Tang Thang and then the two nudes are Cookies and Cocoa and Bubble Rum and again just in summer these I just absolutely love them. Like one of my favourite kind of balmy type products. Along with the Superstar lips from Charlotte Tilbury again I have absolutely raved about these perfect summer handbag lipsticks. These kind of like lipstick, but with a balmy feel to them. Um, I'm not sure how actually easy these are to get anymore, but it's just the shine on these just makes them like the perfect summer everyday handbag lip product. I absolutely love these. So I have four of these. I have Happy Lips, which is the discontinued shade that is like my favourite, typical. Then I have Sexy Lips, Confident Lips and Glow Kiss. I think Glow Kiss is still around, but these are just, I feel like these are Charlotte Tilbury's absolute, one of her fav her best lip products, sorry. And yet they're all like limited edition or discontinued. And I just think they are the perfect like summer, hot weather lipsticks. I love them, they're always in my handbag. These live in here just because they don't stand up very well because they're skinny. And then I have her Hyaluronic Happy Kiss. These are her newer ones. I won't wind this up because you can already see what a mess these get. I love these, love the formula, hate the packaging because it's such a mess. Um, but yeah, the product itself, I have Happy Peach Romance Kiss and Happy Coral, the, the product itself I absolutely love. They're just like the Superstar lips, but the packaging is annoying, so there's that. And then last but not least, I keep in here my absolute creme de la creme lipsticks. So these are my like real luxury lipsticks. I have two of the Bond number no. nine, which I just absolutely love. This packaging is the best of the best. I don't think it gets any better than this. This one is Gramercy Park. I mean, it's just a gorgeous like everyday nude. And then I have Central Park, which is a much deeper nude. So I kind of had like an everyday nude and a deeper nude of these, but like the packaging, I just die every time. But yeah, so that's Gramercy Park and Central Park. And then I have Greenwich Village in one of the refills. I mean, these are very like, this is almost like paper. But if you're just wanting to save a bit of money rather than buying the crazy bougie packaging, then obviously it does the job, but it isn't, you know, like waterproof or anything. So bear that in mind. But yeah, so that is Greenwich Village. So yeah, Greenwich Village, Gramercy Park and Central Park are the shades I have in the Bond number no. 9. Then this is the Tom Ford lipstick I picked up recently at the outlet. Absolute gorgeous. I haven't worn this on my lips yet, Wild Ginger, but it's again like summer, me, summer, just living my best life. Then I've got one of the Louboutin glosses that I have raved about just this is just the most stunning gloss like it is oh look at that juicy juicy opaque gloss yes please I've got my one shade of the Chanel double tenue I believe it's called and then my Jimmy Choo pride and joy this is the shade coral I mean that snake skin on there yes please and again a classic charlotte color but actually this lipstick is very very nice formula wise like i know you're paying for the packaging and the name but it's nice when the lipstick actually matches up to that with the quality because it's gorgeous and actually all of these the formulas actually live up to the packaging because they're all gorgeous formulas as well but the packaging on these is you know it's next level, isn't it? So there you have it. That is my entire lip product collection. I hope you enjoyed this little nosy through my drawers. And like I said, the storage from both the acrylic and also this will be listed down below for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye.